Hey YouTube, uh, this is Adam from the Bearded Boa. Just want to do a quick video, uh, show you guys my cheap, quick, easy uh, Tegu setup. Um, this setup's just gonna last. Uh, this is, I mean, this is only temporary. Definitely nothing permanent. This guy is gonna get big. Gonna get big quick. Uh, this, I believe. Let's look around here. 51 quart Sterilite. Uh, this is actually Betty's like water or like bath and feeding tub. But like I said, only temporary till this weekend, this weekend or next weekend. Um, then the Tega will be in that when it's all set up. You can see the other one, uh, ball python set up over there. Um, yep, yeah, gonna get that all set up. Gonna get it good and going. They get a UVB fluorescent. Um, God knows that's probably 60 bucks for a four foot fluorescent UVB, but whatever. It's what it needs uh, to prevent metabolic bone disease. It definitely helps uh, with uh, producing vitamin D3. So, yeah, this is just quick and easy. Um, the light I'm using in here is an Exoterra Sun Glow 150 watt heat lamp bulb uh, in just a Fluker's 5.5, no that's not, I think it's eight, the 8.5 inch dome. Um, you can kind of see how it looks a little purple coming through there. I think blasts some heat out. Uh, the hide, it's really simple, 77 cents at Walmart. Coconut hanging plant base, you know one of the things that you put, a, put in the little wire cage for a hanging plant. They make great hides. Uh, hold humidity. You spray them down. They'll stay wet for weeks. Um, well, not with one spray, of course, but, you know, you get what I mean. They stay wet. They hold humidity, and they're just perfect. The substrate is Eco-Earth. You can see how thick it is. Um, I kind of, kind of made it a little thicker towards the cool end. That way, if he chooses to bury it, she uh, didn't get it sex today. I wanted to, but... Uh, my python guy wasn't wasn't really keen on tegus so maybe it'll be a mystery forever I don't know <clears throat> but got plenty of places to bury water dish big enough to uh, get in and soak a little bit just some rocks uh, got the lamp don't know why that's there yeah okay but that's it Really simple and fast. No lid. Uh, I'm assuming this guy is not going to like, you know, boiling right over the side. But we'll see if it's still in there in the morning. I know with the eco it's going to be a pain in the butt uh, trying to find him. But if I can just, you know, check on him twice a day, find him, poke him, I won't mess with him. Uh, going to feed this guy uh, every other day. A uh, bunch of people I've talked to said, you know, you feed them every other day till they start putting some real good size on them, get up to a couple feet. And then you try to feed them five, six times a week. Uh, he, she, it uh, ate about half a cooked egg this morning. Uh, loved it. Ate a super worm and some crickets last night. Still got some more super worms and some more crickets. So maybe I'll just drop a couple crickets in there every now and then, uh, you know, throughout the day. But that's it. That's Tegosaurus Rex. Still haven't come up with a name. And he is just like a statue. He hasn't moved in the seven minutes he's been in here. Alright. Well, you guys take care. And enjoy your reptiles. Have a good day.